اللهم اجعل القرآن العظيم ربيع قلوبنا ونور صدورنا وجلاء أحزاننا وذهاب همومنا وغمومنا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصم ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر ولتكملوا العدة ولتكبروا الله ولتكبروا الله على ما هداكم ولعلكم تشكرون وإذا سألك عبادي عني فإني قريب فإني قريب أجيب دعوة الداعي إذا دان فإني قريب أجيب دعوة الداعي إذا دعان وإذا سألك عبادي عني فإني قريب فإني فليستجيبوا لي وليؤمنوا بي وليؤمنوا بي لعلهم يرشدون. So how do you learn taqwa from fasting? The scholars say if you don't eat and drink in front of people. And then you go home and close all the doors. And the only door you open is the door of the fridge. Do you have taqwa, akhi and ukhti? La wallahi. So you learn to have taqwa. Be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa jalla fi ula when you're all alone. And that's when the scholars say, that's the only time you will know whether you have taqwa or not. When you're all alone, when you close all the gates, Nobody else sees you. Nobody else hears you. Except Allah subhanahu wa jalla fi ula. And you say, Inni akhafullah. When you're all alone, that's when you know whether you have taqwa or not. That's the reason it's the secret between you and Allah. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that all the acts of the children of Adam and the deeds is for them. Except fasting is for I, it's for me. And I will reward him for it. Because it's a secret between you and Allah subhanahu wa jalla fi ula. So since he closed all the gates, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open one gate for you. On judgment day, the gate of Rayyan. Nobody else will be able to go through this gate except those who fasted for the sake of Allah. So you left your food for the sake of Allah, Allah will feed you from the food of heaven inshaAllah. You left your drink for the sake of Allah, so Allah will quench your thirst from Hawd al-Kawthar inshaAllah. You left your whims and desires for the sake of Allah, Allah will reward you abundance of eternal life and bless in Jannah. Amin.